Hi and Assalamualaikum. I am Nora Huani Binti Rehan and these are my group members which are Fatin Sahirah Binti Husaini, Nur Nadia Husna Binti Junaidi and Amal Hayati Binti Abu Bakar. In this video, we would like to review a movie named Deep Water Horizon directed by Peter Burke. Deep Water Horizon is a dramatization of the disaster that occurred on April 20, 2010 when the offshore drilling rig Deep Water Horizon exploded, killing 11 workers and causing the worst oil spill in American history. This happens when methane gas from a Gulf of Mexico underwater well blows up and out of the drill, expands and then explodes under high pressure. Before it was controlled three months later, an estimated of 134 million gallons of oil spilled into the Gulf. This spill, also known as the BP oil spill, has been blamed on British Petroleum by the US government. The main causes of this disaster were problems with the cement, the lack of an acoustic shut-off switch, and the overruling of the crew would notice problems. The oil well was lacking a remote control shut-off switch called the acoustic switch as protection against underwater spills. If the device was used, the crew could either try to activate an underwater engine that would shut down the well even if the oil rig itself was damaged, or they could evacuate and the device would cut through the pipes. If the minerals management service had met their mandatory for oil rig spills could have been avoided. Before the explosion, Caliburton workers had just finished pumping cement to fill the space between the pump and the whole sites, according to TransOcean, which is the drilling platform's operator. The timing of the initial explosion, according to oil experts, indicates cementing issues. In the deep water horizon oil spill, BP not only lacked the previously mentioned remote control acoustic shut off switch, but it also cut corners on cement testing, misled about its ability to prevent deep water spills, and overruled crew objections on the day of the explosion. BP also purposely understated the rate of the spill following the explosion. Next is two main stakeholders. The first one, workmen on the rig itself. There were 136 people on the platform when the rig exploded, but only 115 were evacuated. Despite a three days US Coast Guard USCD search, 11 missing workers were never found and are believed to have died in the explosion. 94 crew members were rescued by lifeboat or helicopter, with 70 of them receiving medical treatment. Next is environmental impact, which appropriately 1,100 miles of coastal wetland impacted by the spill in terms of fish kill and wetland destruction. More than 1,270 fish, 600 for polycatus, 200 at timbers, 1,456 molecules, 1,503 crustaceans, 4 sea turtles and 29 marine mammals live in the spills area. 817 bottlenecks dolphin that were reported over a 3 years period from 2010 to 2012. During the first dolphin birthing season, following the spills, approximately 10 times the normal number of dead baby dolphins washed up along Mississippi and Alabama shoreline. I'm going to explain ethical dilemma by Billings, which is who is Donald Virgin and Hero Mike Williams. The Villains' ethical dilemma is act negligently in their supervision of his safety tests performed on the Deepwater Horizon, horizon drilling rig and he failed to phone engineers on shore to alert them of problems in the drilling operation. Next, the hero's ethical dilemma is that he is found out the cement lock not in good condition and proven by the first test was failed. And then, he made decision to discontinue the oil digging process during discussion with Donald Bridgman because he knows the consequence of his action when he agreed with Donald Bridgman. What actions taken by the villain from a consequentialist view of point is it can be seen when villain Donald Bedrin decide to continue with the pumping activities despite a negative data test result is a poor ev evaluation because it leads to negative consequences. The poor decision making by the villain exemplifies selfishness in individualism. The situation is brought up again when the villain orders one of Transocean's Trans crew members to turn on a pumping valve without the presence of Jimmy Harrell which is the Transocean's project manager. The bad behaviour is reinforced by threatening the crew is reporting him for poor performance if the work is not completed as promised. This depicts the use uh, 
of power to subdue people. Despite being repeatedly reminded of the poor results of the data test, the villain proceeds in the assumptions and ignores any horrible consequences that may occur if they continue with the work. This demonstrates that they are making decisions based on assumptions rather than data. Furthermore, the poor results are the result of BP stakeholders' failure to run the negative pressure test in order to save a few dollars. This action considered consequentially because from the villain's point of view, the pumping activities are considered as normal and ethical activities, but pumping without permission and not depending on the data can produce harm to the organization, which can, which can cause increasing pipe pressure and end with explosion. Okay, proceed to the next question. Deontology means judges the morality of an action based on the action adherence to rules or rules. It is sometimes described as duty or obligation or rule based on ethic because rules bind you to your duty. So, under this movie, there are two actions taken by the hero from a deontologist's point of view. The first action is when Mike violently saved Andrea by throwing her from the rig, then jump himself. The second one is when things go bad on deep water horizon, Mike is committed to go back for the rest of the crew members who are trapped in the engine room. Mike was one of the last workers to leave the rig having bypassed life put in favor of trying to help save others and salvage the rig. Mike's action that put his crew safety as the number one priority even he has a choice to either save his own life or save both shows his courage and considered a deontologist. The golden rule is a philosophy for leading one life that suggests that other people should be treated fairly and with respect. Essentially, if people act for goods of others because they would like to be treated in the same way. The ethical action based on the golden rule that I would take if I in the villain should, I will be justice and fairness among all employees. By being fairness is using the legal ways to manage the company so that the company will move in the right path. In this case, every worker is trying to save their life from the explosion of the deep water horizon. Meanwhile, there are only two boats left and everybody has lost their mind uh, by pushing each other to save their life including Jimmy which is uh, the manager of this project. Suddenly, Mike come and ask the worker not to panic and uh, give injured worker first uh, into the boat. Mike has stopped Jimmy from entering the boat even Jimmy is the manager. Mike has justice and fairness ethical value inside him. He thinks uh, that everybody should be treated at the same way, truly and fairness. The most important lesson I have taken from this movie is that we should never utilize our ability and knowledge just to satisfy our own selfish desire. It is possible that the gain from our selfishness will be greater than the actual losses. This can be seen in the movie where Jason and the Sun try to deny all those Donald Vigins Vigin said at the beginning Jason doesn't want to continue the all suction because based on his working experience the environment is very unsafe plus the pressure test is uh, being made is negative result which means it is not suitable for the worker to do the job when Donald out of control he started to provoke and said the nasty words to the Jason Anderson and Jason Anderson feel so angry about that and directly called the Jimmy to ask the permission to do the job by not stated clearly the second pressure test result thus G Jimmy just give the permission to run the all suction we need to follow the ethics while working and safety rule the only way to stop unsafe condition from happening is to report them to the supervisor or top management as soon as you notice them and help be part of the solution. Your supervisor is legally obligated to provide all employees with safe working environment and will take care of the any unsafe condition but they, are, they have to be aware of those conditions to do so. It is important to always report any hazard situation or unsafe condition as soon as possible to keep yourself and other employees safe. Work together to find a solution to prevent the unsafe condition from occurring again in the future.